Have you ever wondered why transformers are rated in kilovolt ampere, not in kilowatt like motors? In this video, we will answer this question, which you'll find always on interview questions. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. As you can see, this is a single transformer, which has a primary winding and a secondary winding, separated by a laminated silicon steel core, which is the magnetic coupling between the two windings. We will connect the primary winding to the input AC voltage supply, and we will connect the load at the secondary winding. As we described before, in AC circuits, we have three types of power. Active power, reactive power, and apparent power. Active power is consumed by the resistive load. Reactive power is consumed by inductive or capacitive load. And the apparent or complex power is the total power consumed when we have a mixture load. You can watch the video of power factor through this link or in the description down below. So, the power supplied from the AC source will be changed according to the type of load. Here, the load is unpredictable, so we can't expect the values of kilowatt and kilovar supplied from the source through the transformer to the load. So, in transformers, we will deal with the total power, which is kilovolt ampere as the rating power. For more illustration, let's take an example. If we have a transformer with 100 kilowatt ratings, if the load now is consuming 100 kilowatt as active power and 40 kilowatt as reactive power, according to the 100 kilowatt rating, the transformer is delivering its rated power, it's ok. But actually, we didn't put into our consideration the reactive power, which already exists and will cause overloading for the transformer. Another reason for dealing with kilovolt ampere as the rated power is the losses of the transformer. The transformer has two types of losses. The core loss, which depends on supply voltage and the magnetic properties. Here, both factors are constant, so this core loss is constant. Second type is copper loss, which is equal to I squared R. Here R is the winding resistance and I is the current flowing through the two windings. The winding resistance is constant, so the copper loss depends on current. So, the transformer losses depend on volt and current, which is volt ampere or kilovolt ampere. Let's make a recap here. AC motors are loads that we know its power factor, so we can express its rated power in kilowatt. But for transformers, we cannot expect the power factor of the load. So, we deal with the total power kilovolt ampere and also the losses of transformer depends on the volt times amps. In the next video we will learn the difference between DC current and AC current. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also don't forget to share, like and let the knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.